Hey guys, welcome back to K Tapes. Uh, it's been already uh, almost a month, and um, you know what? This is amazing. All right, I think it's you know we're ending the year with a bang. Uh, there's no other ways to say it. Okay, uh, by that I mean you're gonna be very very spoiled uh, because I will make two videos including this one and also the great stuff is is that most of these things are one tapes i've never seen before and i do not exaggerate and also tapes that i might have seen before uh, but it's been a very long time and the copies that i did find are in extremely extremely good shape and by that i mean like like near mint so before we start one thing you may be like, okay, uh, you said before that, you know, like rare tapes were hard to find. You were going to Seoul and you would find like two or three and just a couple per month and like up to, to maybe a dozen or 20 at, at, at best. It's true. Uh, and why did I find these amazing like piles of tapes like right next to me right now? Uh, the only reason is because I went through a Korean collector who had those for years actually they were they belonged to his grandma i think he's told me or at least his parents because they used to have a video store and the guy was selling the tapes uh um of course they weren't cheap uh but they were so worth it so anyway um, I'm, I'm gonna keep the the suspense uh enough okay uh, we, we're gonna start this so first of all Okay, I have my box. I think I have about 40. Let's hope I have a bit less, uh, but I think I have about 40 because I split the whole thing in two, two piles that were pretty much even, but I think it's about 30, 30 to 40. So the first one we have here is called When Women Had Tales. Um, this one just, uh, I don't know, I, I found it really interesting. I like the cover and uh, of course, like the copies look really cool. I mean, this is one of the least good looking ones and you would say like are you nuts this is really good looking yeah it is really good looking but the other some of the other ones are like really pristine top condition the reason i picked it up it's because it happens to be the same director who did hitchhike uh, i don't know if you've seen this film it's 1977 it's a little bit trashy film but i love it it's it's really fun story is cool has like a really cool plot twist to it with great actors as well there's david s who's one of the bad guys in uh, Last House on the Left, who was really famous for that role in particular. But he appears in that, uh, not in this film, but in Hitchhike. So this is another film by the same director. And uh, they're not like super easy to find. I mean, like you can find Hitchhike, but the other films I think were not really, I mean, I didn't like follow like all the DVD trend, like after 2004, four or five, to be honest. So. I'm not too sure, maybe they eventually released his other films, but as I know, uh, not really. So well, anyway, you can leave a comment if you actually happen to have some of his films. So this is one of them. Uh, so when women had tales, there you go. Okay, next one. Oh, by the way, I'm going a bit randomly. Um, there's like one or two big titles in there that I'm pretty much probably gonna keep for the end, you know, cause hey gotta keep cool stuff for the end right but i'm really gonna go randomly because uh but you should keep watching don't skip to the end to be like oh what is it does he keep at is he keeping for the end keep watching because there's like amazing stuff throughout this video i'm 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 telling you all right next one we have is fight for your life uh i found this back in the days maybe once only once copy was super moldy I couldn't buy I mean it was from like a video store that was like closing down uh, so they had a copy and by that I mean the tape was moldy the sleeve was moldy like it was like there was no way around it I couldn't save this tape like whatsoever so I, I didn't pick it up but this time yeah this one I picked it up it's not in super top shape I mean again you might say hey come on it's in great shape it is in great shape but it's not like a 
pristine near mint. Uh, first of all, the, the, the clamshells were really, really, really dirty. So that's why uh, it's taking me quite some time to clean all these tapes up. Uh, and I cannot, I cannot really say that enough. Uh, but when I clean the tapes, I clean them as if they were going for my own collection. Uh, so even sometimes I do sell these tapes. Uh, so be rest reassured that the tapes you're going to receive, they're going to be like super top clean. Um, I'm not send, I'm never sending like dusty tapes or or stuff with mold. Actually, I used to, but I know better now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so this this one uh, is just best. as you can see. Maybe again, let me zoom in. So you have a crack here. Uh, so the the clamshell itself is not in top shape I think it I thought it was chipped somewhere but no it's not uh, so apart from this crack and maybe a little thing inside that's like a little pin that's been broken um, otherwise it's fine uh, and, and you may ask like why you didn't change the clamshell it's because this one is a uh, Sambu the label and I do want to keep the original clamshell with the original uh, film is such a cool cover. I mean, even the back cover is like, wow, it's, it's really in your face. And that's what I love about these old tapes. And by the way, all the tapes I'm gonna show you today, there's no new school stuff, okay? It's all pre, I think the most recent tape I'm gonna show you is perhaps from 1992. Everything else is older, it's all 80s, all right? So if that's your stuff, stick around. We have some really cool tapes coming up. Uh, so this is Fight For Your Life um, on Sambu. And this was released, oh my God, I think it's 1984. So this is 1984 tape. This, is, this tape is nearly 40 years old. Okay, so let's keep going with this, these goodies. Next, uh, this is another tape I had once. Uh, I don't think I had it more than once. Uh, and I did sell it, uh, but this copy, oh my God, this copy is absolutely unfaded. As you can see, there's no sun fade in this one. It's beautiful. And this is um, Christmas Evil, if I'm correct. But this is 1989 release, still quite old. Um, again, I can't stress enough how beautiful the spine is because uh, this is always a major concern with some of these releases. I mean, if you're like a top collector and you really want like the best looking tapes, regardless if it's Korean, North American, Chinese, whatever, of course, you're looking at those little things. And another thing I want to show you here, as you can see, the, um, the logo of the company, of the, uh, the release. So yeah, this is the original clamshell that goes with, uh, see, actually the tape is super clean. So, oh, by the way, in this batch, uh, when I bought it, I would say maybe uh, perhaps 20% had mold, okay? And by that, I mean like it, it, it's nothing dramatic. It was like something just a little bit, but still I need to open up the cassettes, like uh, unscrew all the screws, remove it, clean it, uh, use, let me show you, use my big bottle of um, rubbing alcohol to clean all this stuff. Uh, and it does take a lot of time. I mean, I would, I would say this, this copy is near mint. I mean, yeah, the, the box is a bit beat up, but the, just the fact only that this is unfaded, it's the original clamshell, I mean, wow, fantastic. Okay, let's move on. Another near mint copy. Uh, this is Wendy Go and not Wendy Go. Uh, yeah, I, I got that joke a couple of times. I mean, it's, it's, it's quite funny. Sometimes with the Korean titles. Eh? Yeah. Anyway, so Wendy Go, um, another gorgeous copy. It's, it's almost near. I mean, I could say it's near me. I mean, the red is red. It's just that yellow here, like had a bit of fade. But I mean, to find this in, in such like a close to mint condition is, is I'm sorry, but it's impossible these days. Uh, so yeah, again, the clamshell is super clean. Sambu, and we do have the original Sambu logo on the box. Um, is it one that's been 
speed up or something? No, I think it's mint. I think it, there's no there's no chipping or anything. The box was clean. Um, yeah, so there you go, Windigo. And by the way, I think I did show you this one in the past because uh, there's a small clamshell and uh, there's two variant of the big clamshell like this one. This one is the black cover and you have the same thing, but the background is all white. Actually, it does look like this. So there are like two variants plus the small uh, clamshell. And if you ask like, but does this apply the white and the black to the small clamshell as well? Uh, honestly, I don't know. I just came across one copy and I think it was black. So you can tell if there's a white one as well. But well, anyway, this one is super nice, super clean, and uh, I would say like I mean, next to near mint, like, like uh, just that little yellow here. But everything else is super nice. Okay, uh, next we have something a little bit different. Uh, it's a movie called Saturday Night at the Palace, and you'll be like, okay, what is this? Um, well, good question. Uh, the reason I picked it up, it's because it's one of those very obscure South African film. Uh, and uh, if I remember correctly, it's been released in 1985. Uh, and it got like just perhaps like a hundred views. You can look it up on IMDb. It, it, it's quite obscure. Um, and here you have it. It looks really cool actually. It looks like a good film. Uh, and it's something about like the tension between like black and white people like so like racial tension in here um, what the rest of the story is about I don't know but I guess they they're stuck in this place which is called the palace it's just like a diner and things happen uh, but it looks very cool also like once again totally unfaded spine beautiful copy I mean if you're into like very obscure films and stuff that you don't know like if it has been released anywhere else I would really look into this one so Saturday night at the palace. Okay. Oh yeah. This one, I'm going to keep it for later. Okay. So now I have something cool here, which is by the way, maybe you noticed it. It's a small clamshell. It's the movie called three super guys. I think it was a, um, Italian and German co-production or something. Uh, just like one of those silly films with some action comedy and stuff. I just love the cover, so I just went for it because of the cover. Um, so yeah, it says, it doesn't say the director. I think it's, it's all overlapping here, but you have the actors and perhaps the director's name right here in English. Uh, so yeah, you go with this horrible screen cap that looks like it's coming from uh, the video itself. Uh, yeah, three super guys. And if I remember, yeah, the tape is very clean as well. Yeah, that one needed like a little bit of cleaning, but it's it's top shape now. And also very good, like the spine's very good as well. You know, there's no uh, bad sun, sun fade or anything. I mean, there's like a little bit, if you look red and it's slightly pink, but it's still very good. Okay, next. Oh, and by the way, this came in a bigger clamshell and it was, uh, let me reach the paper. There was this paper here and this would go on top here and you have the lines and this is like to kind of like be able to center it and it would come in like a regular box like this. So you would have this paper and then you would put this inside. Well, of course you would slide it inside, uh, but I don't like this. So I just, I just removed the paper and I did buy this uh, plastic case uh, in, in the flea market. Like they were like cheap tapes. Like I think they were like uh, dancing tapes or whatever. Like they were $2 each. Uh, so I picked them up. You would say like two dollars is quite expensive right like probably in the states you would get that for 25 cents but hey it's korea like there's no tapes for 25 cents here by the way like the cheapest ones i found were like a dollar or two and they're like really crap uh so yeah i found this and i swapped the clamshell okay moving on uh once again another like small clamshell here is a movie called uh shamwari or shamwari in one word word or two words can remember you can look it up on imdb of course and what's so special about this film um well other than it's a small clamshell and it's in beautiful shape 
uh, is the fact that this is a movie from Zimbabwe. Uh, so only that alone, I was like, wow, I'm grabbing this. I, I have no idea what it's all about. It looks like action to me, but it's probably like wrong screenshots from like other movies, except this one looks like maybe something that may happen in Zimbabwe. The rest, I don't know. This looks like almost like Indonesian. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's a movie from Zimbabwe. They don't have like a ton of films there, uh, but that's one of them. Uh, and I don't know if it has other releases in the world, but hey, uh, we have one here. Shamwadi. Very uh, intriguing, to say the least. Okay, uh, next, this is something I think will appeal to a lot of you. Uh, I've been asked that for like quite some time, and I was able to find a copy. It's Halloween 2. Uh, the box, like you, you see, like if I'm doing with the reflection, it, it looks like it's it's wavy. This is the plastic, by the way. It, it, it's like that. It's, it's not like there was heat or anything. Uh, and it's the original um, Deu clamshell. So that's why I didn't change it. I managed to clean it up really well. I mean, if you look at it in a certain angle, it looks like pristine. If you look at it like this, it's like, oh, okay. Uh, but it's it looks very nice uh, and also there was like a sticker here you can tell like there's like a different coloration so I was able to remove it it was on the paper and I, I was really freaking out because like oh can I remove this I don't want to peel anything off but I was able to remove it without peeling anything so that was like took me like 30 minutes just to remove that sticker anyway I digress here uh, so yeah this is Halloween 2 perhaps one of the most unique cover I've ever seen for this film anywhere. Uh, I've seen quite a couple like Halloween tapes popping around on Facebook, like people posting like covers like Turkish copy, Russian copy, Thai copy. But the South Korean one is really, really unique and really beautiful. Let me show you the back as well. So there you go, a couple of scenes, key scenes in there. It's really nice. Um, oh yeah, and one more thing about this film, uh, well, not about this film because you know the film, but about this copy is, uh, it's actually the rarest Halloween VHS tape that you can find in South Korea. I would say after all the years I've been, you know, hunting down the Halloween tapes because, you know, people always ask me for Halloween tapes from time to time. Number four was the first, I mean, the top rarest tape, but strangely within like two years, I found like three copies. So it kind of slided down to number two <laughs> because Halloween 2, I've only found two copies and this is the second copy. And the other one I sold it, I think like five years ago, it was like before the pandemic, like even maybe even maybe more years than that maybe six or seven years ago. So this is actually super rare. Um, sadly, of course, it's not like unfaded. It is quite faded, but it's super rare. Uh, and it's in top shape. I mean, the tape is very clean. So thankfully, uh, but yeah. So there you go, Halloween 2. This is a big boom, okay? This is such a great tape to find. Like I, I was like, my jaw dropped when I saw that. Okay, next. Uh, we continue with horror because, by the way, there are almost all horror films I'm going to show you. I mean, I showed you like a couple of like weird ones at the beginning, but the rest are all like pretty much horror. Uh, so next we have uh, nothing like too special, but it's Scanners. Uh, I did have one copy before, it was quite sun faded. This one is pretty clean. Uh, am I going to say it's near me? Uh, uh, pretty much, pretty much. I mean, I don't see any... Any sign of fade? I mean, the purple is purple and so on. Um, again, is it like a rare film in South Korea? More or less, because before I think I passed it a couple of times, I, I didn't have any interest in picking, picking it up. Uh, but recently, I mean, this film is getting harder to find. So when I saw like a pristine copy of it, like a very good one, which is this one, I picked it up. Uh, but in the past, I had like maybe one copy and I probably passed on a few, I mean, years ago. So let me show you the back as well. There you go, David Cronenberg film, Scanners. Okay, 
Next, uh, we have, oh, I didn't do my research, but this movie is called Force of Darkness. Uh, you can see, again, another unfaded spine, beautiful copy. Uh, what is it? I don't remember. I, for I, I, I know I checked it before I bought it, and then I forgot about it. <laughs> That's how it is. Uh, I think I picked it up because it's one of those weird Aussie horror films that looks rare. Um, but I'm not like 100% sure, so yeah, I think I'll have to check it out. Again, if you have any idea, you can always like drop a comment uh, down below. Yeah, there you go. Okay, next uh, we have uh, something that to me looked like a giallo. Uh, I love the cover, I picked it up, that's why. It's called uh, Locio del Ragno, uh, which I don't know what it means. It's an Italian film. Uh, my Italian is not good. Um, yeah, it has this little thing here. It's not like perfect, but it was like in another clamshell that was beat up. And here I think there's like a small tear. Uh, that alone is not a big deal too much. I changed the clamshell, so that's why it, like it's now like shiny and nice. Uh, but overall it's in very good shape and it's a quite rare film uh, by the way uh, came out on I mean this tape is 1987 uh, so uh, not very young okay next this is another film I showed you before it's called the, the evil the evil um, again I, I think I do have another copy in stock but it's not I mean, this clamshell was beat up and I think uh, the spine is not too great. This one is beautiful. It's not perfect, but it's very nice. Uh, so yeah, that's why I picked up another copy. And I think the clamshell, yeah, see, it has a little crack. So it's, it's kind of unfortunate because those tra old transparent clamshells, uh, they all suffer. <laughs> yeah. Inside, I think it's fine. Yeah, and the tape is clean, of course. So here you have it, the evil. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit faster because some I think I've showed you in the past. It's just like an upgrade. Uh, this one I've never showed you before. It's called Female Revolution. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I just picked it up because I found the cover really cool with that girl having a good time here. Uh, the spine is also pristine, it's very beautiful, no sun fade, gorgeous. Um, it's not horror, obviously, it's, it's more like a sexploitation from, I think, the late 70s or maybe even very early 80s. Uh, I didn't look too much about it, I didn't, I didn't do much research. Like I said, I just, I just love the cover I picked it up. Okay, next. Uh, again, this is one I had before. I think I still have a copy. It's called The Accident. It's a quite rare um, Hong Kong, like pre-85 film. I think it's like, well, I cannot really check the date here because it says the tape is 1989. Maybe the movie is 86 or something. But anyway, it's a rare film. It's a rare Hong Kong film. So um, yeah, the, the person had one, so I, I picked it up. Uh, because uh, they are quite hard to um, to pass by. I mean, you don't see them very often. So I picked it. I picked one up. Okay, next, uh, probably horrible film. Uh, but once again, the cover is really cool. It's the Howling Five. I do have Howling Two, maybe Three and Four, but I don't have Five. I think I never had Five. Uh, this is the first time I see this, so I picked it up. By the way, I changed the clamshell because the other one was beat up. Uh, but it's, it's, see, it looks white. It's just like some crackling in the plastic because, I mean, it's, it's, it's another like old clamshell I had aside. Maybe I'll need to change it, but I mean, it's not broken. It's just had this like, looks like crackling or something. Um, otherwise, it's in top shape. Uh, the sleeve is great. Has a tiny, eh, maybe not. No, I don't think it has any, well, maybe a little bit of sun fade, not too much. The cassette is in great shape. So there you have it, Howling 5. Okay, next, this is something else that I've been asked a bunch of times, but it's getting really hard to find any copies of this film, uh, but it's called The Rosemary Killer. 
uh, better known under oh my god I have a big blank here I see the character the amazing special effects and then I have a blank anyway I'm sorry it happens it's nighttime right now when I'm shooting this I'm tired uh, so anyway Rosemary Killer Rosemary's Killer is the other like known name for this um, and um, yeah well yeah usually uh, there was a uh, DVD release by Blue Underground and this was the cover on the Blu-ray um, and the DVD damn it I forgot the title terrible uh, anyway I have it back in stock uh, it's been I wouldn't say it's been quite a while I would say it's been quite some years uh, the last time I had a copy of this I think it's been four years maybe so it's a quite rare film okay next uh, this is something I had in the past as well but I think my copy was moldy so I threw it away this one isn't it's in great shape uh, the film is called Diamond, Diamond Fight if I'm correct and I think it's a Taiwanese action film um, one of my friends asked me for it uh, so I may make a copy for him uh, but this is the original Korean tape in great shape and released under life another great label for rare kung fu and some like really cool horror films as well I love life and what I love about this label especially is those baby blue clamshells they're so cool okay the next one I have here is called Elsa um, again something I had in the past like a few years ago actually one guy in Australia I need to ship his copy uh, it's been a while if you're watching uh, but anyway this one is near mint I mean it's unfaded it's beautiful uh, so there's nothing else to say about it it's a Nazi Nazi exploiter from the 70s uh, also it comes in its original clamshell which is orange and has this logo here um, yeah if you're into those films I mean this is one to get okay next Oh my god, I have so many. Maybe I should skip a couple for next video, but okay, let's move on. So next we have another Sambu. It's called Off Balance. Again, this is not the title. I know this film. Uh, usually it's under another title. Uh, was it? I have, I have a blank. I think it's a Ruggiero Deodato film or Lamberto Bava. I'm, I'm, I'm confused, but... Yeah, it's been like this this late 80s film. Um, so there you go. Actually, it's really cool. I love the cover of this one. It's cool. Oh, yeah, there it is. Ruggiero Deodato. All right, I was right. Uh, not Lamberto Bava. So uh, this is the late 80s, I think. Maybe 1988 film or 87. And here you have the spine, which is also very beautiful. There you go. Oh, and by the way, uh, let's uh, a little mention for this wonderful uh, Sambu green clamshell uh, for a change. So this is wonderful. Off Balance, Ruggiero Deodato film. Another must. Okay, next we have a Canon production, House of the Long Shadows. Classic, classic of the if I'm not mistaken, the early 80s, early 80s with Vincent Price and Christopher Lee when they were getting really old. Um, yeah, nothing else to say. Well, oh yeah, the box has this little tear here. I mean, it's only the plastic. The sleeve inside is top shape. And look at this. This, once again, another like pristine looking uh, spine I mean when I whoops when I see this I'm always like wow I'm blown away because in Korea it's a little bit like in Japan those tapes usually have been sitting in video stores next to a big window the Sun was like right on them and then they would just all fade and and be terrible but so to find old tapes like these that are over 40 or about 40 years old with no sun fade whatsoever. I mean, 
the box is has this thing here but that's minor i mean for me this wow it's it's just mind-blowing uh so by the way yeah this is uh well this is 1989 which is still very old okay next yeah pac-man day of the dead another title i had in the past but look at this this is near mint again no sun fade this this is the best copy of day of the dead i've ever found i mean i found like a really good one in the past uh but this one is the top top one i mean this 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 one beats all of them um i'm a huge i'm a huge romero romero fan i would be tempted to keep it i mean it's it's beautiful and also it is the original clamshell which is actually quite hard to find look you have the little pac-man logo i mean i'm sure they had no problem with this uh for copyright so you have the little pac-man dude um yeah wow this is amazing so there you have it day of the dead i mean doesn't get any better than this copy wise quality wise as well okay next we have um hostage syndrome uh so here this is going to be another one that i picked up i looked uh for it on the internet i was like oh that's cool and then i picked it up and then i forgot about it and i don't remember what this is again um it could be one of those um godfrey ho films or something like that maybe that's why i picked it up actually it does look like it like cheap kung fu action film with like ninjas in the mix uh could be one of those i think that's why i picked it up and again it's in it's in great shape okay uh oh my god i think i have about like 15 more so please hang in there okay the next one i have is blue sunshine this is the first time i ever buy this film i've seen it once again in the past every time i i saw i saw that like on a website before and i was like oh i'm gonna pick it up and thankfully the person showed a picture of the tape the tape was totally trash moldy as hell i was like okay i'm gonna pass same thing i i went to like an old video in like a small town in south korea same thing tape looked okay i opened it up tape all moldy and i think even underneath the sleeve it was all moldy and maybe ripped ripped at the bottom so anyway every single time i i found this tape it was always in horrible shape and i think it happened like twice or even three times so well fourth time or maybe third time now pick this one up excellent condition uh the box was super dirty i i, I think I'd, i spent like almost 45 minutes cleaning this up I, I i kid you not i had to go with the uh uh rubbing alcohol and everything and the reason why i spend so much time once again is because i wanted to keep the original clamshell which is the sambu another like transparent clamshell but that i don't know because of the age would be easily beat up uh, again it looks fine but yeah anyway so blue sunshine uh let me show you oh you let me show you the back back is super cool as well it's a beautiful piece yeah i wouldn't say like it's near mint by that i mean the uh by the sun fade but it's a beautiful copy i mean it's it's by far the best <laughs> best one i found because they were all trash so this is a great one a great surprise let's say okay next we have a uh, return of the evil dead but it is a uh, return of the blind dead so the second movie in the uh, series i think there's like what, four or five movies um by armando di osorio uh so yeah spanish film horror film i think i do have another copy of this uh i have to check which one is the best but i think they're like pretty similar uh but since this is not very easy to find and it's such such a cool cover i mean even the back is great uh so yeah since it's it's quite hard to find these older films like this uh, i picked it up and this is by the way you can tell here 
So the release is 1983, so it is 40 years old. Well, actually maybe December, 39 years old. So 39 years old, uh, <laughs> tape, very old. Uh, so I picked it up. Okay, next. Oh, this is so amazing. This is another one. I've seen one guy who had this once and that was it. And by the way, the guy was on Facebook. He disappeared. So who knows what happened to the tape, to him. I hope he's fine. Uh, but he said at one point that he had a fire in his house. So he lost a bunch of tapes. Who knows if that tape was part of it or not. I don't know. But I found one and it's Troll 2. The Notorious Troll 2, yeah, had a release in South Korea. And this copy, oh my God, it's near mint. I mean, I can say mint, but I, I don't like to say mint because it implies a lot of things, but it's near mint. It's, it's gorgeous. Maybe you're wondering, by the way, what is this SK uh, South Korea, I guess? Sometimes you have those punched holes in some tapes. I think it's done by... Uh, Maybe the, the, the office that um, would rate the films or perhaps the distributor itself, but it's not somebody who went and put like an S and a K for fun, okay? It's like official. Um, what else to say about it? Yeah, the spine is gorgeous. And look at these pictures. They're like super bright, super clean, beautiful. I mean, this is amazing. Um, it's not like crazy like old film. I mean, you can look at it right here. It's been released in 1992. Uh, this label like died around this time or changed to something else. Uh, but for some reason, it's the very first time I find I found this tape. Never seen it before other than the guy who posted it, like I said, on Facebook like years ago. Uh, after that, I've never seen it ever. and. I looked around for like all these tapes, these horror films, and I've never seen it. So to be able to find a copy of Troll 2 in such a gorgeous condition, it's it's like, wow. Okay, more wow stuff to come. Okay, speaking of wow, wow, stigma. I mean, the cover is just a banger. This is amazing. Uh, the life after life, you have some taglines in English and Korean, another Spanish film small box uh, small box set small clamshell again same thing as before this one came with the paper with the bigger box i threw that away because it was all beat up cleaned everything everything up and put it in its original like a small clamshell um look at this even the back is super cool and no sun fade whatsoever so this is an old sambu it's the same label as the other films i showed you uh, let me just show you very quickly. I got I got a couple of those. See, Sambu. Um, but yeah, this is a small clamshell, so it means it's been released before the bigger clamshell. Usually, those are like the super early Korean uh, videotapes. Um, so let me show you. So right here, you see, you have 1984. Uh, so yeah, the videotapes in Korea started around 1982. So this is like super early in the VHS um, cycle. I mean, in South Korea, you didn't have any tapes before that. I mean, those were like the super early tapes in South Korea. So that's so nice. So stigma. There you go. Again, I don't know if it's like super unfaded. I mean, the red is red, but maybe the, I don't know if this is supposed to be yellow or not. But anyway, it's nonetheless, I mean, even the, the sleeve itself is super clean. And let me show you the tape. Yeah, it has this because there was like, I, by the way, I didn't, I didn't do this. Someone peeled a, a, a sticker before. I don't know. But this was like that. I didn't tamper with any stickers here because I would have done a better job. Uh, so no, this is not me. Uh, but I did clean it. It was a bit dirty, but now it's super clean. I mean, the tape inside. So there you go. Okay. Okay, let, let me move on a bit. Oh, my God, this is, I don't want this to be too crazy long, but I have so many tapes. Okay, this one is Ilsa. Uh, Tigress of Siberia. Tigress of Siberia. Uh, well, I mean... 
gorgeous. The only thing though, um, it's hard to see, okay? Let me, let me show you with the reflection here. I'm just gonna zoom in and focus. But do you see, do you see like some sparkling thing here? Oh yeah, you can see it like this. It looks like, well, it had like some water damage. So it created this, which is such a shame because this movie is quite hard to find. Uh, no, I'm sorry, it's not quite hard to find because I do have maybe one copy in stock, but it's quite hard to find in this beautiful shape. And it's such a shame for the water damage. So I'm probably gonna let it go. So if someone wants it, I'm gonna probably drop the price because of that. Uh, but the fact that it's near mint, uh, no sun fade whatsoever, I mean, I cannot drop the price like crazy, but because it's it's a looker. I mean, you put that on the shelf, no one will ever notice. But I'm telling you because I'm trying to be honest. Oh, by the way, you can see like the little, a bit of water damage right here. Let me zoom. Looks like they're like, like mountains, but they're not mountains. They are like this water damage going behind. So yeah, I don't I don't want to, you know, like pull it out of the of the sleeve to show you, but yeah. Which is a shame because again, it's it's so beautiful. Okay, next. Uh, oh, this is another big one. Something I've seen only once, and I saw that like in a store in Seoul. Uh, I wanted to buy it from uh, the shop when I came back. He said, "I'm sorry, it's sold out." I was like, "Damn it!" Uh, so the film is the house at the edge of the park. Uh, which once again only saw this once uh, well thankfully I well I didn't get it but this one blows the other copy I've seen like out of the water simply because it is once again near mint no sun fade whatsoever this is so weird with the cards but I love it it's so cool it's a very unique cover um, let me show you the back it shows you some scenes of the film very cool well, for once, there are scenes from these films because uh, usually they show you scenes from other films, but well, they didn't in this case. So House at the Edge of the Park, amazing, amazing release and beautiful condition. It's, it's never seen before. Oh, by the way, I've never, yeah, I've never owned this tape ever before. Okay, next uh, we have Evils of the Night. A little horror film. Uh, I didn't look into it too much. I just picked it up because, yeah, horror film, it's cool. Something I've never bought before. And also, once again, no sun fade on the spine. Um, so it was just a grab for me for that simple reason. And it's it's in great shape. The tape inside is also uh, in top shape. Voila. By the way, I didn't show you all the tapes like I just did, but they're all or pretty much all like this. Okay, next, another one I've been asked a couple of times. This one cost me quite much, uh, sadly. I, I, I kind of regretted it afterward, but I'm like, ah, okay, well, it's super rare, so why not? It's Night of the Demon. Uh, so this is the uh, 1981 film, the Sasquatch film. The Yeti film, and Sasquatch is in North America, Yeti is in Asia, right? So the Sasquatch film, well, the Bigfoot film, all right. Uh, so yeah, this is super rare. I only ever had one copy, but which by the way, if I remember correctly, was almost near mint. So this is a lesser copy, but nonetheless, like very beautiful. So Night of the Demon, if you're a fan of this, well, yeah, this, this thing here, see? So that's why I kind of regretted it after because I didn't have pictures of this when I bought it and I paid a bit too much, but anyway. Uh, like I said, I don't regret it because uh, the chances that I find another one are quite slim. So might as well, you know, you when you see stuff like that and you're in South Korea or any country, you see rare stuff, pick it up because you don't know if it's going to pop up again ever or in, in, in 10 years or whatnot. Uh, so Night of the Demon. There we go. Really cool cover, by the way. Okay, we're down to almost 10 tapes. All right, this one, The Man from Deep River. No, it's not an erotic film. It's a jungle adventure cannibal film uh, from the late 70s, 78, I think. Uh, not too sure. 
yeah you get some censorship here this is not me applying filters in this video yeah this is korea uh yeah i've never i think i've never seen this film uh but i picked it up because it is unfaded it's on our beloved dns label uh, and yeah it looks anything but a cannibal film well whatever you what you qualify as cannibalism but uh it it looks like anything but a like a jungle adventure film it just looks like your typical like all mark uh, love story crappy film uh, but it's cool it's cool beautiful copy okay next another rare one i've never seen before is called one dark night uh early 80s film uh, about like pranks from like jocks in, in in a school and it turns into murder or something or something all right don't take my word for it i just read the synopsis very quickly so those are like just little little things i remember about the synopsis really cool logo uh logo uh label by the way who released uh another great horror film uh that is super rare well not crazy rare but quite rare which is nightmare that i've been asked a couple times uh again look at this this is near mint once again beautiful the red is red it's gorgeous so one dark night we have the back cover which is super cool with the the skull here and this is a tape from 1984 uh it is uh, to be specific it's um august 24th 1984 and it's fun because on the on the back you can see here it says 26001 um, which at the time uh, well i mean now it 26001 is perhaps i mean the exchange rate is all over the place but this is maybe like 22 dollars or more or less so this tape at the time would cost about 20 something dollars us when you would buy it for your video store uh, so yeah okay we're down to yeah a couple more this one is trans and again it's on someone someone which is by the way the same label as uh, house of the edge of the park and once again no sun fade this is like amazing and what's what's even more cool is when you see that there's yellow on the on the spine if the yellow is like bright yellow or orange like it is here uh, this is like 100 percent no fade there's no fade at all because sometimes you have some red some blue but the yellow is the color that will kind of go away the f easiest on, with the sunlight and this one you can tell it was probably in the back of the store in the dark uh, so it's been saved which is so nice and look at this this is the back cover beautiful once again and very clean uh clamshell as well i was able to clean this up very well take this clean so extremely and by the way this is the first time i ever get this tape i've never found this videotape ever before not that i didn't know if it existed or not i wasn't really looking for it but I, it's the first time i see it um okay well we have here oh yeah i forgot about these oh these are not too great i'm sorry i didn't keep like the best for i mean no i do have with the best for last but these are a bit like um those were like online purchases i'm gonna go with two here uh this one is called mitchell um yeah with john saxon i mean cool lindo evans who was in um uh dynasty I think um, what else to say about that Mitchell action film from the 70s I think it was crap I just picked it up because it's on those like very cool um, gold star small cases and the price was really good uh, and it's something I never seen before so th that's the only reason I picked it up it wasn't like too pricey uh, so let's move on uh, same thing with this one Guerrilla Strike Force again on the gold star label i love those gold star labels they're like my favorite one of my favorite uh labels just simply because of you know like the pack the whole packaging the whole yellow box uh they always have that gold star at the top and i don't know the presentation is always very nice and they always keep like this original the original like drawings of the 
those old VHS covers and they just apply the style, stylized Hangul, uh, the Korean name on top. It's really cool. Uh, so there you have it, Guerrilla Strike Force, the back cover, on Gold Star. Okay, uh, this is, an, oh, by the way, this is a pick. Uh, it's not from the collector that I bought all those tapes. This one was uh, from uh, a week, a week ago, I think a week ago. I went to Seoul. Uh, it's a tape I've seen before. I, I, I left it there because I was like, this shit is too moldy. No way it's going to play. And when I went back last week, I bought like a bunch of other stuff. Um, Korean erotica, by the way. Uh, and I stumbled upon this one again. I was like, you know what? I'll give it a, I'll give it a go because the price was right. And uh, also it's an old um, IFD production. So like the Godfrey O stuff and it's a it's one that is quite rare. I think the, the movie itself doesn't have like that many releases in the world, maybe two or three, including this one. Um, so that's why I picked it up and I was able to ta -da, clean it. Yes. And you would say, well, is it's clean there, but does it play well? Yeah, it does play uh, properly. So it was actually just like really dirty at the beginning of the tape. So I had to clean this up. Maybe there's like a bit of uh, tracking issues, but for like a few, maybe 30 seconds. And after that plays perfectly. So I was super happy I was able to save this one. This is another one I, it's just, I've only seen it once and it was this one time I picked it up. Changed the clamshell as well because the other one was all broken. Um, so yeah. Sweet Inferno is an IFD production. Okay, the five last tapes. Next one we have is Lost Command. Uh, I think you've seen, I mean, if you look at my uh, posts sometimes on Facebook, you probably notice I uh, post this one up. Uh, what's very unique about this one, uh, according to one uh, specialist of uh, the Filipino films, is apparently this movie. Uh, before this one popped up, uh, never uh, surfaced in English. It was only in, in Tagalog, in, in Filipino uh, language. So to have a copy in English dub was uh, quite a premiere. So really happy I grabbed this one up. Um, so there you go, Lost Command. It's a Filipino actioneer film from the 80s. 80s yeah okay next we have a uh, blue butterfly the amazon uh this is another one i picked up a few weeks ago uh really happy i grabbed this uh it's getting hard to find um for those who don't know uh it looks like just a kung fu film but well it is just a kung fu film to be honest uh but it is a korean kung fu film so directed by a korean director filmed in korea uh, so that's why it's so cool and interesting. Well, you can see also like the terrible sun fade here. I mean, I don't know what happened here. Uh, but yeah, nonetheless, this film is super hard to find now. So, and copy is super clean as well. So if you don't mind about this, uh, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Even on the spine, it looks very beautiful. I mean, this is nice. I mean, you see, by, by the way, what I meant by the yellow and the orange is what goes away the quicker. Because uh, the red here is all red, the red here on the, in the lettering as well, the blue is still blue, only the damn yellow, orange. Okay. Whew. All right, we're down to the last three tapes. Uh, so here we have uh, Contra. Um, this is something I just, it, it wasn't like a blind buy, but I saw that and the price was good, so I picked it up. Um, it happens to be a, uh, it was released by Trauma. Uh, it's, I don't think it is a trauma production per se. Maybe they just bought the right and they just put the trauma banner and just, you know, uh, released it. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's one of those like cheap action films, I guess. Uh, and the copy is pretty good. SKC, really nice label. They released a lot of, uh, by the way, uh, Indonesian films on SKC. So it's a really nice label to keep an eye out for, especially those older releases of SKC with their logo at the bottom here, SKC Pro. 
um, because you can find some like hidden gems uh, in there. So there you go, Contra, so cool. Okay, now we have uh, I Spit on Your Grave. This is almost the last tape I'm gonna show you. It is not the last, by the way, it's the, before the last one. Uh, I showed you that before, nothing special. I, I mean, not nothing special because they're quite hard to find because this is the first release. It's been released twice. The second release supposedly was uncut but has a terrible cover art, although the back cover is cool. But I mean, you want the front cover to be cool, you know, uh, but it wasn't. But this is the older release. It is cut, uh, but the front cover is gorgeous. Look at this spine. It's absolutely perfect. So, I mean, wow. And there you have the back. Uh, yeah, there's some nudity here, but not really. And you have this, which is, I think, from Friday. I mean, it is from Friday the 13th, right? Well, there you go. You have Jason. You have some girl with a chainsaw. Why not? Uh, I spit on the grave. I didn't know Jason was in it, but and this girl with big boobs. But hey, why not? So yeah, there you have it. Uh, this is amazing because just of the shape, it's the best copy I've ever found. So now we're down to the last tape. Finally. last house on the left you have no idea how long i've been looking for this it's been years uh, a good friend of mine had one which he sold to a collector in switzerland a couple years ago about a couple years ago i think it's been like i don't know maybe five years ago but his copy came from daegu uh, which is a city in south korea by the way uh, and he said he bought that copy, I think, around like early 2000. I think maybe let's say 2005 or four. I need to ask him again, but it, his co even his copy was like he picked it up a long time ago. And ever since, I've been looking everywhere. I never found a copy of Last House on the Left. I think one website had one, but of course it had this mention of like sold out for like ages. So it was there, but who knows when it someone bought it or it, I mean it got sold so there you go last house on the left first time I picked this one up I've never seen it before in the wild anywhere and what's amazing about it not just the fact that I found the film finally but look at this it's I mean I want to say it's mint because it is it has absolutely, once again, no sun fade. It's in perfect condition from front, side, and back. It's like, wow. I mean, I, just finding the movie alone, even if it was all beat up and moldy, I think I would, have, I would have been super happy. But to find it in this pristine condition is, is like, it's 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 like a miracle seriously look at this the tape is is perfectly clean uh, I, I by the way i didn't tamper with the tape I, I i didn't have to clean it it was like this i found i mean i bought it like this so there you have it this is a treasure uh, i don't even know if i want to part with it to be honest it's so beautiful i've never seen this and um this is a tape that is quite in demand like I mean around the world you know like any any releases of Last House on the Left would always have like some follow-up and then people want it but yeah this is the South Korean copy perhaps the only time I'm gonna see it uh, I mean I've been collecting Korean tapes not tapes I've been collecting tapes for quite some time but tapes in South Korea maybe since 2008 uh, so yeah, ever since, this is the only one that popped up and thank God it's beautiful. So yeah, these are all the tapes I have for you today. Of course, uh, we've went through all this. We had about, I'm guessing 30 tapes, 40 tapes perhaps. I'm gonna have another 40 tapes for you in a week from now. I just need to clean them all up because as uh, I said, I like to have them super clean. Even if some of them I'm selling, uh, I want you to have the tapes just like 
Me, I would love to have them in my collection, which means in top shape. I don't want dusty, moldy tapes on my shelves, no way. So I don't want you to have uh, tapes that look like that on your shelves. So that's why I take uh, all the time in the world to make them look as best as possible. Uh, because yeah, their tapes, you find them not in the best places. Uh, and in South Korea, I mean, no one is really curating those tapes. I mean, there's one shop which actually sells for quite some uh, high prices, uh, probably because he's doing the same thing as me, because he's really taking good care of them. So that's why he got this premium price. Uh, but yeah, anyway, those were all the tapes I had today. I'm sorry, I don't want to stretch it over an hour. It's been already, it's already been an hour. Uh, so that said, guys, have a great week um and see you in perhaps a week uh so if i make a video after christmas then i'm gonna say merry christmas happy holidays to all of you hope you have a great vacation i hope you have a great time if you have hope you have like great presents and eat good food and stay healthy because that's the most important of all and uh if you want leave a like uh drop a message and maybe even uh subscribe all right thank you guys have a great day